So I thought I'd show you really quick. This is one of the fields on my way home from work. Normally, this is a crop field, but uh, we had, well, between seven and nine inches, depending on what town you measure it in. I got uh, seven inches in Strath, and a buddy in Newdale got about nine. Somebody in Shoal Lake said they got about eight. So, I mean, it's kind of all over the place, but farmers around here are not really big on leaving cover crops or living roots in the soil. So we don't have a whole lot of carbon in there to act as a sponge. And this is what happens with a mere seven to nine inches of rain. Now they say it happened really fast because it was in one night, but you know what? It came down at a rate of maybe an inch an hour. So I think if these fields had any decent absorbing capabilities, that wouldn't have been a problem. I mean, we are all the way up to the edge of the road here, and I am trying to decide if that's gonna be safe to take my little car through or not. Let's get a little closer here. And moments like this are why I'm glad that I wear chore boots pretty much all the time. So the road here is trashed. We've got a pretty decent dip in it. I will be able to get the car through here, but if the next one's deeper than this, then I am going to have to find a new route home. All right, I am really glad that car is skinny. Anyway, I thought I would share this with you as a quick reminder on the importance of getting carbon in your soil, leaving living roots in your soil, and, uh, well, improving your soil's ability to integrate rainfall so you're not having this happen. All right, and I'm gonna shut that down. Thank you for joining me, have a fantastic day.